Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on enlarging a shape by a positive whole number scale factor. Now enlargement is one of the four types of transformation. So we've got translations, when the shape moves. We've got rotations, when the shape spins around. We've got reflections, where the shape flips over. And we've finally got enlargements, where either the shape gets larger or smaller. Now we want to enlarge this shape A here by a scale factor of 3, about the centre, minus 1, 1. Now the first thing I do is make sure that your centre of minus 1, 1, and I'll explain what is meant by the centre of enlargement in a second, let's actually plot that point on the axis. So we've got minus 1, 1, minus 1 is the x value, so, on the long, so along the x axis, minus 1, y value is 1, which is here, so we're going to plot that point. And we want to enlarge this shape by a scale factor of 3 about this point. So basically the shape is going to expand and get 3 times as big in terms of width and height, expanding about that particular point here. And the way we do it is point by point. So let's just take one point on this shape. And all we need to do is we need to count the movement from the centre of enlargement in terms of the squares right and the squares up. And then what we're going to do is multiply each of those counts by the scale factor of 3. So can you see from this centre of enlargement, centre of enlargement, if I label it, you don't need to label it. Can you see to get to that point on this shape A, it's one square right. And there's no squares up at all. We're not having to move up from here. So the one right becomes three right because we times that one right by three. So now we go three right, but starting always from the centre of enlargement. So one right, two right, three right. This point ends up over here. Let's do it for the next point. So this one here, starting from the centre of enlargement, always, 1, 2 right. So if we multiply that by 3, that becomes 6 right. 2 times 3 is 6. So starting from here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 right, and we end up here. So we've got two of our points. Now we need one final point to draw our shape. We've got this point here. So starting from the centre of enlargement, we've got 1 right, and we've got 2 up. So the 1 right becomes 3 right, because we're times it by 3, and the 2 up becomes 6 up. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, we end up here. And now we can join these up to make our shape. And notice, by the way, that the width of this shape here, that was one square, it's now three squares, it's three times as wide. And the height was two squares, this height is six squares, so it's become three times as high. So what you could do is just work out that first point using the same method as before, then say, well, I go one right from here, so I need to go three right from here. I go two up from here, so I need to go six up from here. And that would save you a bit of time. 